السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ سو ان دس ویڈیو آئی ایم گونا بی ڈسکسنگ اے ٹاپک ات ایز دا سینٹر آف آور تھی اینڈ ٹو بی کنفیوز ابار ایٹ از اے پری بگ ڈیل سو ایوری تھنگ دیٹ آئی ایم گونا بی سینگ ان دس ویڈیو از ٹیک ایئر فرام دا بک ریوائیو یور ہارٹ بائی نمان علی خان اینڈ بائی دا وے اٹس اے ونڈرفل بک سبان اللہ اوکے سو فرسٹ آف آل لیٹس جسٹ سی دیٹ یو نو ان آور لائف we have seen people and sometimes we ourselves too are asking allah for something but we're not getting what we want okay and the results are not coming and we at the end get disappointed and a lot of people they stop praying because just because what they are asking for is not what they're getting so in this video i'm going to be discussing all of those things to a and disappointment Okay, as it's the title of the video. So the very first thing is that whom are we asking to? Okay, we are asking to, asking for help or anything that we want from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And is asking from Allah same as asking from your parents or somebody else? No, it's not the same. If it's not the same, then how is it different? And what are we supposed to expect when we're asking from Allah? We'll get into that. First of all, as a matter of fact, let's just see that dua is the center of our religion. And if there is something that Allah tells us about the prophets in the Quran is the prayers that they make. Every prophet makes prayer, made prayers. Okay, and all of them, most of them are mentioned in the Quran. Now, let's just see that when do we actually ask Allah? definitely when we need something and when we are in some danger we ask allah for help but let's just take a step back okay when we wake up in the morning and we open our eyes we do not have to have uh, something to make our lungs to keep working we can still see we can hear and we can walk so long story short do we actually thank allah for all these blessings that we have that every day we wake up and we are well and good every night when we want to sleep our heart is still beating okay and while we are sleeping we do not have to do anything to breathe okay we are just breathing normally and when we wake up our mind starts to function and everything starts to function if you just think about it they are not running on batteries okay this is allah providing us these blessings even though you and i we all do sins some of us do more major sins some of us don't and we do not even thank allah for this thing so before we say that why don't allah listen to me why aren't my prayers being answered we need to look at all the things all the blessings that he had given us he had been giving us and that all the blessing that we have okay we become sad over little things that we do not have some little gadget you know for example there are numerous teenagers that are dying <laughs> to have an iphone okay and they keep making dua for an iphone or any phone but they don't get it and at the end they become disappointed and they stop praying thinking that allah is not listening to them while not knowing that all this time what he has been providing for you who has been doing all of that allah has been doing all of that we need to keep in mind that he he is providing and he provides daily every day so are we thankful for that we are not another thing is that we need to know our position while we are making the dua allah he is the ultimately high our rab master and and if he is our master and rab who are we then we are his slaves okay and there's nothing no status more higher than a master and no status more lower than a slave so uh, from the position that we are asking we are not supposed to make orders okay we cannot make orders in a prayer asking to allah is not like making an orders to a restaurant you know or placing an order for a product online because we are paying for it and if we do not get what we wanted we have the right to be angry okay we have the right to complain but here in when we are making the dua we do not have any right to complain because we are not paying are we and we have no right to complain we have no right to be angry if that doesn't turn out the way we want them to be because firstly 
Allah loves us unconditionally. His love can never be measured. We have to know it. We have to believe it. Okay, we all know that He loves us a lot and He loves us more than 70 mothers. But do we actually believe it? If we were to believe it, we would trust all of His decisions that He make with His unlimited perfect knowledge. Okay, what knowledge do we have? We have very limited knowledge. Okay, we only know what's happened in the past. And we don't also have the perfect memory. Do we remember what happened when we were just born? We do not. So we do not know what's best for us, why Allah does. Okay, he's like, he just knows everything. So we have to trust him. We have to say that, oh Allah, when we are asking something that, oh Allah, if this is good for me, give that to me. And if that's not, do not give that to me. I trust your decision. And we actually have to trust his decision on that. We have to remember that Allah pulls back a little, Allah gives, okay? He gives to whoever He wants and He pulls back from whoever He wants to. And we, have, we cannot do anything in it, okay? We have no right to say, why are you not giving me this? Or why don't I have what she has? We, we don't have any right to say. We have to just be contented in what He has given to us specifically. Because what we have is something that the other do not have, okay? Now you're going to ask, well, then what's the point of da anyway, if he's going to give us what's right for us and what's not? The point of da is to admit that whatever you have given to me, I was in desperate need of it. I needed everything that you have given to me. And I'm grateful for all that you have given to me. Okay, I'll just give you a simple example before I end the video of Prophet Musa alayhi salam. It's a long story behind it, but we'll just talk about one point is that once he was sitting under the shade of a tree and let me tell you he had nothing at that time okay he had no food to eat nowhere to live and no water to drink he was completely like he was a fucky at that time okay and in that situation in that state what prayer is he asking to Allah Rabbi inni liman zaltha ilayya min khairin fakir. Uh, I'm going to just roughly translate it. And he says that, Ya Allah, O oh Rabb, whatever you have given to me, whatever khair, whatever good you have sent down my way, was definitely, I was definitely in need for it. I was desperately in need for it. Okay, we can make an entire video on this. Uh, but let's just say that. And then after some time in the story or that, or that particular story, he gets everything. Okay, how, how does that all happen? Just because you thanked Allah. Okay, when we'll thank Allah, we'll get everything that we want, that we ask for, and that is in our hearts. Because He knows what's in our heart. He knows everything. He has created us. So, He knows all. So, we just have to thank Him. You and I, every time when we end our prayer, how many minutes do we take to thank all the things that we have? You know, I think probably we take more time in asking Allah for things and less time in gratitude. So from now onwards, we have to be more thankful to Allah and not be disappointed. Okay, and not be disappointed because He is listening. He, he not just, just says that I listen to you, He says that I respond. Okay, and, and the way He responds is not always the way we expected it to be. Okay. We want something, we think it's good for us, but Allah knows that it's not good for us. So He doesn't give us. And now it's not on us to be sad that, you know, I didn't get that. If I, if you make a 10 minutes prayer that I, I, Allah, please give me 100 in my exam. And the next day you come whining about to your mother that I prayed 10 minutes straight, but I still got an, a B. I didn't get a, I didn't get 100. So it's, you, you don't have the right, you don't have any right to do that. Because Allah is listening, He is responding, and you're going to know after some time and that your dua is accepted, you know. So we have to be grateful for all that we have, and we have to say that, Allah Ta'ala, if it's good for me, give it to me, and if it's not, do not. I trust your decision. Secondly, just don't think that whatever you are going through, whatever you are going through is unique. Okay, every situation, somewhere or another, is mentioned in the Quran. So Allah knows how we feel. He cares about us. Okay. There's no one else who can love us more than him. And we sometimes forget that. We do not have to. Okay. 
from the position that we are asking him we are his slaves and whatever he is giving to us it's not what we deserve it's all a gift everything every good memory that we have all the love that we enjoy all the people that we have in our life that we cherish every good thing is from him as a gift and when we'll start to appreciate the thing that he has given to us things that are around us people that are around us we will be we'll become people of gratitude and we won't be you know complaining about everything because we're not supposed to complain we have to take this thing inside us and just think about it for some time because more human beings we are made we you know we we complain a lot we criticize a lot too as well and i really hope at the end of this video that may allah make us from the people of gratitude from the people of sincere tawakkul and accepted dua jazakallah